Welcome back. Here in Germany, more than a few of the country's rich and super rich probably feel fairly nervous every time the doorbell rings. A tax inspector could be standing on the doormat. Well, admittedly, they only turn up where they have good reason to suspect tax evasion. Here in Germany, former Deutsche Post CEO Klaus Zumwinkel is accused of having smuggled around a million euros past the tax authorities to an account in Liechtenstein, a known tax haven. But how easy is it to track down people who are cheating on their taxes? The German government paid an informant 5 million euros for the tip that led them to Zumbinkel, but they've already more than recouped their money. Well, Germany's tax inspectors also certainly earn their keep. The tax inspectors never come alone. They turn up in small groups at the crack of dawn when alleged culprits are least expecting it. Good morning, tax inspection. We have a search warrant. They don't always find what they're looking for straight away, mainly because people who evade tax go out of their way to dispose of all the evidence. But the head of the tax inspector's union, Dieter Ondracek, says most perpetrators will slip up eventually. They generally forget a note or something somewhere. So if you can see that everything is clean and tidied up, that's when you start to look even more intensively. Because somewhere there'll be a note, even if it's just a little post-it note that's been forgotten somewhere in a hectic moment. Tax evaders can also fail to cover their tracks in other ways. For example, some are unaware that computer files they've deleted can easily be retrieved. Some offenders are even more careless. Tax evaders are often what we call collectors. They don't just collect receipts and things, they also collect cash. So we look in the safe. Most villas have a safe somewhere. So we look for the safe because if there's anything valuable, then that's where it will be. The inspectors are often tipped off on the phone about tax evaders. If it sounds like they have a case, they meet the whistleblowers. Most investigators prefer to know the people who are passing information on to them in person, because that gives you a degree of confidence that they are telling you things that are genuinely relevant and important. The Internet has also become a valuable resource. Google Earth, for example, can reveal if that small holiday home in Mallorca is in reality a large estate. And that's enough grounds to apply for the next search warrant. Our political correspondent, Simon Young, joins us now at our parliamentary studios for more on the subject. Simon, now, state prosecutors have been outlining the results of their investigations. What progress have they made so far? Right, what we know is that 150 uh, individuals are being investigated for uh, tax evasion and of those 91 have already admitted uh, some wrongdoing. So a very successful uh, start to the investigation. 72 further people have already come forward uh, to uh, hand themselves in effectively to the authorities before the investigation reaches them in the hope of avoiding prosecutions uh, further down the line. We know that uh, 28 million uh, euros in late payments have al already been made uh, to the tax authorities uh, and they're saying that uh, they're aware of uh, monies of, of around 200, mi 200 million euros uh, undeclared to the tax authorities so far. I'm sure that amount will go up as the investigations continue. One other thing we know, a second bank in Liechtenstein is now uh, in the focus of investigators. Right now, Simon, there are concerns that the information at the heart of the investigation won't be able to be used as evidence given the fact that it's stolen data bought by the Secret Service. What's the situation on that? That's true. Uh, that uh, has been a concern for many people because it's stolen data. People have said it won't be admissible in court. Uh, but uh, the Bochum state prosecutor said today that they had looked into this, that their understanding is that because the informant came forward voluntarily rather than being sought out uh, by the German authorities, uh, that means this, uh, this information is admissible in court. It's worth also saying that uh, foreign governments uh, around the world have shown a lot of interest in this material. The Germans are, uh, are offering to pass it on uh, to other governments, but some, like the Danes, for instance, seem to be saying they want nothing to do with uh, stolen information. Now, this seems to be widespread and systematic tax evasion. What are the authorities planning to do to stamp it out? 
Well, there's a range of things they can try to do, uh, certainly to uncover fraud. Uh, one thing they could do is uh, have more tax investigators. There have been criticisms there aren't enough. Uh, they have sought to uh, step up cooperation in bilateral agreements, particularly with these tax haven uh, states, but uh, it's not always easy to do that. When you think uh, within the European Union itself, there are no uh, common rules on taxation. Uh, I think beyond that, uh, the government continues to try to uh, talk about uh, you know, uh, people uh, being showing a greater morality when it comes to paying taxes, but uh, uh, talking about simplifying the tax system, making it easier for people to know what they have to do. But uh, a lot of politicians have talked about it. Few have succeeded. Simon Young, as always, thank you very much.